Yo, what's up, people? It's your boy, Mr. Slapside, back with some Battlefield 3 gameplay. And in this video, I want to talk a little bit about building your channel even more. You know, um, I want to give you guys more tips, more tips and tricks. I actually um, was talking to one of my coaches. He's an internet marketer for um, Q Dreams. And uh, um, he was just telling me that, uh, you know, your niche is videos. So all you guys out there, I was studying all my subscribers. Some of you guys are just some casual watchers some of you guys are some active youtube users and he was just telling me you know like um, you know how youtube is your um foundation let's just say that's your hub um you know you're gonna build you're gonna have to build around around your youtube so um you know i mentioned facebook and um to be honest you know since youtube is your main hub that's your house you're gonna need to build around that you're gonna need to build um you're gonna need to build roadways that lead to your house so the way you do that guys is um build a Facebook and Twitter um, get real active on uh, Facebook um, sometimes uh, it once you get that one like sometimes that could spread like a wildfire because once you get that one like from say your friend you know you start from friends and family obviously people that are pretty into this um, this type of category which is gaming um, people are gonna like that on Facebook when you make a Facebook Facebook fan page I, you know later down the road I'm gonna show you how to hook up a Facebook fan page how to hook up a Twitter you know it's not really hard if you could hook up a YouTube you could hook up those so um pretty much what I'm trying to say here is that uh once you got your Facebook fan page going you got one like from your friend tell your friends to tell another friend that's word of mouth right there that's 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 the simplest form of a uh, internet uh, of marketing word of mouth like oh man do you hear about this do you hear about that yeah he got a he got a channel you know that's that's very simple marketing but i want to get get even deeper than that you know um what you're trying to do here is um build social websites social media websites around your youtube um because you know the main focus here is youtube videos you know i'm not i'm not getting into uh websites your own personal website i'm getting into a your own YouTube channel you know you want to get more traffic you want to get more views you really want to beef it up huh why not why not add a couple roadways to your YouTube by easily setting up a Facebook fan page and a Twitter it's really easy and the reason why I find Facebook really um, powerful is because there's a lot of people on Facebook that like um, playing video games you wouldn't even notice it maybe some of your friends are more active on Facebook than they are on YouTube not everyone you know likes to be on YouTube the only reason why they go on YouTube is for a specific reason to look at their favorite rapper their favorite singer so um you know on Facebook it's I think it's a lot easier to become a fan on Facebook than it is on YouTube YouTube is like it, it, there's just too many damn videos out there so um build your brand build your brand on Facebook you know make yourself a fan page try to get you know 100 likes within within a month or two months I don't know what your goal is my goal is to get 100 likes um, by the end of this year right now I'm, I'm at 33 it's kind of tough because um i'm not really supplying enough content right now but um that being said once you make and then once you make that you definitely want to create yourself a twitter and when you make that twitter there's these things called hashtags and people overlook hashtags um you know i like to use hashtags because um i like to type in keywords on twitter and i like to see what people are conversating about because when i understand what people are conversating about for a certain niche let's say my niche is gaming i like to type in call of duty and i just like to get ideas of what what hot convos are going on what people are talking about in the game and then i kind of like you know um incorporate um whatever they're talking about and get ideas that way that's only when i don't have ideas but most of the time i'm i'm daily i'm always thinking of ideas of of ways to make unique content but you know i'm just saying that's what why twitter is so powerful is that you got hashtags hashtags is pretty much putting the the pound key in front of a keyword and then people search up uh, that keyword and then most of the time your your combo will show up about whatever it is you know like what i like to do is um I like to put up gameplay um, on Twitter. I put my um, YouTube uh, URL. Um, I in embed it on my uh, Twitter, and then what I do is um, I talk about me going 100 kills on Call of Duty. And then when I talk about that, people will search it up, and they're like, "Wow, he really won 100 kills!" And that alone is enough to get me a lot of views. And um, I noticed that um, ever since um, I hooked up a fan page, Facebook fan page, and a Twitter, I realized that my my average my average on videos per for, per view has definitely definitely increased so um i'm just i'm just sharing you guys i'm just sharing with you guys and especially if you guys already have like a pretty decent 
amount of subscribers, I think that it would only help. It wouldn't hurt at all. But if you want to stay on YouTube, that's cool. You know, you, you don't have to make a Facebook and Twitter. But I'm just saying if you really want to expand your brand and, you know, really get yourself out there even more, I believe that you got to add roadways to your YouTube, which is um, Facebook Street and Twitter Street. Those are two streets that are connect going to connect to your um, YouTube because YouTube is its, it, it's its own house. You know what I'm saying? But you know, the magic of it is that Google owns YouTube and Google allows uh, people to search up on Google. And since YouTube and Google are set up together, whatever they search in, they're going to find you. But um, that's 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 way out of what I'm talking about. That's that's even deeper marketing. But, um, you know, I'm just saying, you know, whatever it is, you know, whatever you do on YouTube, whatever it is, you know, I see a lot of people, they have really great content out there. But I'm just like, damn, dude, how come you're not you're not really getting any subscribers or video uh, video views? And, um, I, you know, I already know why is because they don't optimize their channel enough and they're not really telling the visitors that visit their um, YouTube page or whatever. They're not telling them to subscribe. You got to encourage your viewers to subscribe, but you don't got to force them to do it. You just got to ask them politely and say, you know, if you really did enjoy it, please subscribe. Because, you know, when you um, do this thing, it's building a relationship with your with your audience and once they lose your trust they're not going to like you anymore so this is all it's all it's all relationships you know so um if anybody out there i know a lot of you guys are starting up your youtube channel and everything like that i'm not really that big but you know i just been talking to my um my internet marketing buddies and they're just telling me about it if you want to know more about it um feel free to message me and i'll definitely uh keep you uh, updated all right guys i'll be back with more later